All right, the handshake problem. One of the more common problems in mathematics when we're talking about combinations and permutations. And uh, so we'll go through that if you're having troubles with it. But uh, if you've never seen the problem before, here it is. This is the classic. There are six people in a room. How many handshakes are there if everyone in the room shakes hands exactly once? So pause the video. Even if you've tried this before, try this one right now. Do uh, whatever you think, whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. You're going to learn from your mistakes. So now's a great time to make a mistake. So hit pause and then hit play again once you've played with it a little bit in your mind. All right, so the first thing I would do with this, and this is how I first solved this problem when I was a, a little younger than I am now, is you let each person represent a vertex. In this case, we have six people, so I just drew up a hexagon. You wouldn't need a hexagon. You could do just six dots. And I'm just throwing in colors here so we can see them. And there we go. So we'll start with the red person here in this upper corner. This person shakes hands with this blue person, shakes hands with this green person, shakes hands with the red other red person, the other green person, the other blue person. And they've shaken hands once with everybody in there. So there are five people that he has shaken hands with, which should make sense. Then the blue person here right beside him, well, he's already shaken hands with that red person adjacent to him. So then he shakes hands like this. And so he only has four handshakes. And then the green person, he's already shaken hands with two people. So now he's going to just go to the blue person, the other green person, and the red person. So he's had three handshakes. Then the other red one, here's where it gets, I might use black. So the this person down here in this corner, he's already shaken hands with three people. And so he only has two left to hang, shake hands with. So these two. And so he's got two. And then the last person has shaken hands with uh, four people, looks like. And so he just has one handshake to make, and that's the one right adjacent to him, to that other blue person. And so he has only had to make one handshake on his own. And then the last person, he's already shaken hands with everybody, so he has done zero. He has to initiate zero handshakes. And so the total here would be 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0. So, you know, there's 9, 12, 13, 14, 15 handshakes. Okay, that's one way to solve it. Okay, the other way to solve it is by a combination. So I like to think of it in terms of bins. Yeah, uh, we're going to have six people, and we're going to choose two of them to pair up to shake hands. So we're going to be, you know, all the, the list of all the people in a group of six people where order doesn't matter. And so the first person, you know, there's six possibilities times five possibilities. But then the order doesn't matter, so you have to divide that by 2. So 30 divided by 2 is uh, 15. So if you ever watch my videos on combination, that's how I teach them. But if you did the formula, it would be 6 factorial divided by uh, 6 minus 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. That's the actual formula for it. And so you can look at it as combinations of 6 choosing 2. And I'll hit pause for a second to recoup my thoughts here on this.
So here's another way to think of it, just along the lines of combinations. So if you assign every person a number rather than a name, so there's one person one, person person one, person two, person three, person four, person five, person six. And a handshake would be between any two of them, sets of two. So your sets would be one, two. Uh, then one, three would shake hands. And then one, four. And then one, five. And then one, six. Sorry, I'm getting lazy. I don't want to draw them brackets each time. So person one shakes hands all there with all of those. Then the set two, three. Two, four. Uh, two, five. And two, six. Okay, and there's your sets of, uh, there's four people. Here's five people. So it's almost like the hexagon. And then three, person three can go three, four, three, five, and three, six. So there's your three peop three handshakes. And uh, then you got person four can shake hands with person five and person six. And then person five can shake hands with person six. And that's your, you know, listing them out in sets using set notation. Yes, yeah, there's three people there, two people there, one person there. And that's the back to the idea of 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. But if you need to see it, there it is as well. And uh, why it works as a combination. So, hope this helps. Hope the handshake problem is now easy for you. And see you next time.